Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. It's been a little while since you've heard from me, but do not worry, I am not going anywhere. If you enjoy my content, there's going to be plenty more coming out very, very soon. So let's jump right into it. It's been just over a month since we've had a new version of Simu to dig our teeth into, and now it's here. Available early to $5 plus Patreon supporters, and seven days later for free to the public on April the 3rd. It comes with a slew of new features, so let's go over what they are. The first edition is a game list where you can input your game directory for quick access and loading of your library. So simply put, we have Quick Launch. That's followed by the option to toggle between conventional and separable shaders, which is something we'll look into more in its own video because it does require a bit more explanation. Then we have certain game profiles have been updated such as Fence Skip in Breath of the Wild is no longer enabled by default. And as always, we have unspecified improvements and bug fixes. If we dive into the detailed change log, which you'll find linked below, we can summarize these features quickly. So we now have a game list, UI tweaks, updated game profiles, and a resizable input window. The things which you probably care about most, which are performance and compatibility, seem to be sorely lacking here. However, in the earlier March news, it was stated that soft locks and some textures in Smash are fixed, Monster Hunter will now display correctly on AMD, and Xenoblade boots again. So there you have it ladies and gents, you can get your hands on Simu 1.11.6 right now if you're a Patreon supporter, or wait till April the 3rd to get it for free. If you liked the video, thumbs up, if you didn't, thumbs down, and as always, if you want to support the channel, why not subscribe?